Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Republic of Russia lover. But we got to talk about the Petrov Salon, Reflections of Stability. Anatoly Petrov, now a senior sergeant in command of a security detachment, looked out at the vast crowd of the staging area in Tomsk Central Plaza. It was a final full realization of the December's goals, a rally to celebrate the concentrated effort to unify the Siberian social fabric in a way that would promote trust among its citizens both in each other and the government, to provide a guarantee of long-term stability, the bedrock of which could allow the Republic to springboard forward. His mother had traveled to the participate, briefly embracing him before disappearing with the group into the throngs. He remembered the way she had looked at the masses of people with a deep look of satisfaction, and an elevated form of the one he sometimes saw when she managed to encourage unity at the kitchen table, however brief. Anatoly had returned it with an empty nod. True, the displays of unity and communality he had seen over the duration of the omnipresent campaign were encouraging, reducing conflict between those from Tomsk itself and those from other regions, but... At the same time, he had seen a reduction in the expression of culture and religions among many varied minority groups. He was unsure of what that meant for the Republic's future. He was powerless to stop any such homogenization, but that did not mean he, like his mother, had to support it. Instead, he had chosen to focus on the small things. Earlier that day, he had seen two families, one from Kemerovo and one from a former Black Army commune, met and embraced each other. They had seen no animosity on either side of the faces as they worked together to heft the Republic's flag aloft. He saw that as a true positive effect of the entire initiative. It gave him far better thoughts. And it allowed him to small besides a focus on the benefits. Now let's see if we can have a little bit of fun with the fins. As you can see, we've already started moving in. We've lost about 400. We've killed off, off about 11,000. And let's see how bad our troops are. They've up to 33 divisions. They have 29,000 manpower, negative 2 oil, and 8 production units. Can we win here? Or what do you want down here too? You know, we'll just see if how underpowered we are or how overpowered uh, Vyatka really was. Well, so far we're doing okay. Well, Seems like we're just winning instantly. Uh, some of these divisions should be pretty thick. Uh, let's see. Let's see one. Five to seven. Two. That looks about like 20 combat width. Uh, what about here? This division is what? Our division is probably 20 combat width. These guys are probably 20 combat width. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, Really? You might be wondering. Why am I, Why do I constantly convert these guys over to like militia? Because of the cost. Because when we go to war, like what happened when we went to war with Vyatka basically the Russian Empire. We took on a lot of debt, and you never know if, uh, huh, you can if you need extra space here, and by space I mean, like, you, our war chest, because we're going to need, because when, when we go to war with the German Empire, uh, the Ionized Pact, we're going to need a ton of extra money, so also, we're credit rating B, we can get all the way up to acceptable as well very soon, if we can just keep doing this as well, so, overall, all we get to double B, acceptable. You know, war taxes? Screw it. We're going to go with war taxes, too. It's going to hurt us a little bit, but I want more money. I'm just trying to make sure that we've got enough of a war chest um, when stuff hits the fan. Because we're going to be spending, like we did in the last episode, a ton of money. Obviously, we'll get more stuff, too, by or ton more money by, you know, getting stuff done. But at the same time, fire up Halavi. Oh, sweet mama. But, yeah, we are definitely want to get a fat war chest here eventually. Uh, I'm not really using either of these. Tactical bombers, strategic bombing, escort efficiency. Well... Doesn't really matter to me too much at this point. But yeah, overall, not bad. See, wh why are we doing so well here? Why? Right, go there. And then once these guys are done, you guys go in here. 1v1. Some luck can win. No clue why. But 5.65, 41.101 is not bad. And we're going to try to go all the way to get as reduced debt as possible. Also, spending this time, not spending money really making money and we're just trying to produce stuff because by the time we go to war with the germans we're not going to have a lot of equipment any of this equipment really and we need more factories we need more tanks this is literally all in preparation for the war with the germans everything we do is for the war against the germans no matter what happens no matter what we do it's all for the war Anything else here? 72, of course. Can we go down here, maybe, and grab this? Also, I did research, uh, or at least I, did, I think I saw it last time. I did tab over. Vyatka didn't even have basic artillery research when we went to war with them. They didn't even have this one. I, I, I no understand. I, I know what's understand. If they had literally the bare bones, the literal basic of artillery, and they still were able to do very, 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 very well against us. I get it. Like, our soldiers were low and trained. You know, that's completely fair. There, there are 16 divisions down here. And I know our soldiers were very, very untrained when to war with them. Not all of them, but most of them. But sometimes it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So we got almost four PP a day, even with overextended administration still. Not bad. How are we doing here? Minus 0 0.07, not bad. Um, at this point, we're cutting research. We have modern agriculture. Streamlined bureaucracy is pretty good as well. 
Uh, well, machine would be really nice. We have innovative industry. We have modern industrial equipment. Not quite cutting edge, but modern. And professional army, of course, still. And we just have a couple more divisions. A casual third of a million. Not bad, not bad. These tanks are not very good. They're not very strong. It's unfortunate, just because we can't make any. I don't know. Russia needs... I don't think they should be alpha with a ton of, you know, industri industrial capacity, but maybe a little bit more. Just because with everything reunited, basically. With most of Central Asia. Not all of Central Asia, as you can tell. And, or even Vladivostok. We are only at 67 max. And obviously we shouldn't be close to this one at all. But they have 163, so two and a half times ours. So that's not bad. We obviously don't have this Muscovine, but... Hmm, I don't know. Just very weak. As we should be. Don't get me wrong, we should be weak. Uh, 40.638, yeah. War chest, war chest, war chest. 50.6, not bad. Still a good amount of growth. A lot of inflation, though. We are reducing about 2%. And the peace conference is now over. Have we won? We have won with logistics, and we no longer have war taxes. Well, everyone, it's uh, time to do the dirty deed. Let's see, I've gone to war with these guys. Not, they're not calling everybody yet, but we're going to war with the Germans. And actually, now we, too, have Spartan discipline. So we should do relatively okay, right? Especially when the Germans don't even have that. Also, I've been uh, been doing some things here. And by some things, I mean weakening authority for everybody here. But now we're at 100%. Wait. 2.1%. 0.4. 100%. The numbers aren't quite adding up, but, oh well, not our problem. Now, as we are marching in with all of our divisions, uh, a couple of things about these tank divisions. Let's see, some of these are 40 combo with tanks, with APCs, and I threw on air assault uh, companies, which are very, 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 very strong. I've not realized how strong these divisions are. And then we have these 40 combo with uh, SP artillery tank divisions with, S with air assault companies as well, which are very, 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 very strong. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I should probably pay attention to what's going on here. Um, also, these guys have, like, no divisions. Uh, Rex Komisar, Muscovine, Walta, Venk, 2 million manpower, but uh, no divisions. Ukraine has up to 14, uh, Caucasian has none. It's a, it's a Reich that has all the divisions. It's literally just the Reich. Um, just in case, oh, there goes Yemen, not that we really care, but... GGR it up, please, and thank you! See what we can do. So far, hopefully we'll do okay here. And other than that, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the reason I cut down, like, I cut my, the debt almost completely to zero. The war taxes? Eh, we're kind of okay. We got a, almost 12% growth. We're spending a crap ton of money. 20 billion in just a deficit alone. As you can see, 9.4%, not bad. It's just, I want to make sure that we do relatively okay, and we just need a god-awful amount of money here. Just so much money to make sure that we have a massive military. It's just racking up casualties now. Which is hopefully goes okay for us. We do have, uh, uh, the air's not great for us. As you can tell, 400 versus 1500, not going great. But our divisions, at least infantry divisions, do have anti-air going for us right now. 23,000 versus a quarter million loss. Not much in the grand scheme of things, but oh well. As the game is lagging pretty darn hard. As it probably should, since, uh, well, probably doing a lot of damage here. Overrunning divisions too is very nice as well. Um, how are we doing over here? So we're trying to fight over the river, huh? Let's buy a line. Buy line. Alright, well, let's see what happens. We got semi modern rifles, which is very nice. That is 1980 stuff. It is 1977 right now, currently. Oh god, we're going to need so many more rifles, aren't we? Oh boy. Yeah, our industry is just not good enough. We have up to 90 factories, which is, you know, considering things, not bad. It's not great. 15, let's go down to 5, because we need more civvies. Or millies, really. There you go. There you go. Just in case for the future. Because, my god, are we going to need them? Guess we have our, uh,. Other uh, breakthrough. We got a lot of extra breakthrough here because we broke the ciphers, which is very good. Um, obviously not enough divisions. Casualty six hundred thousand versus fifty thousand. They have lost quite a few divisions, up to forty maybe ish. Hopefully ish. Overall not bad though, and we're still smoking. This guy's really good on attack. Any other upgrades? No. Any other upgrades here? Maybe no. Also, we do have uh, another set of infantry here, just in the center, just help to push. Like, we have the general line here to hold and push, but then we have these guys in the center just to help just give it extra push in the center. And, of course, we have our tanks and helicopters and, you know, all the good stuff, too. Um, overall, not bad. Ooh, overrunning, please. Yes, 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 yes. Are they at a million yet? 900,000 losses, almost. 72,000 for us. Yeah, I don't know why. Why is this easier than Vyatka? Oh, we got Moscow. Great job, guys. Com man, complete German surrender. Also, we got more cynicism here, too. It is what it is. So... St. Petersburg? Ooh, we do that. Can we just capitulate in that way? We might be able to. Just keep keep going. Keep killing them off. Keep killing them off. 
Uh, they're at a million. They are at a million. Good, good, good. This is so much easier than taking up the alka. I just don't understand, man. Only 20.5, is that all? Oh, and Muscovine died? Yes, they have. Go, go, go. Caucus says, I'd love to see die off as well. Could you take these guys out by yourself? Yeah, they could. They, oh my god, they just died. They literally just died. Wow. Look at all these guys. Ooh, helicopter divisions. Well, sort of ish. Yeah, if that's most of their army, then they're kind of screwed. I mean, like it when they're screwed, but still. Nice. Anything here, Mikhail? Well, they have 100, uh, 113 divisions left. Happy New Month, everyone. It's happy, happy May time. 112 divisions left. Not bad. Take out Vorons. Oh, we call out some Irish there. Nice, nice, nice. And after this, we're just going to go ahead and reset the front line. Like this. Go ahead, go on in. Are they needle invading us yet? The front. Huh. French state's up there, huh? Okay, well, okay, whatever. Oh, and you guys concentrate your efforts on the Ukraine. Mm, there you go. 1.6 million losses, 102 divisions left. Please go ahead and just grab some oil, because we could always use some oil. Of course, we could use more guns, but still, whatever. Uh, can picture the coxes, and uh, they're pretty much done then. Yeah, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Couple divisions here and there, not bad, not bad. Oh, you, Iranian tank. Oh, oh, well, I'll have to go through Iran as well. That's fine, whatever. And Caucasian's gone too. Two million losses. Why is this so much easier than Vyatka? I just don't understand, man. I do apologize. Uh, they can't respond to any of your comments right now, too, because I technically am away at the time of this recording, but... It just doesn't make sense sometimes, yo. Actually, is this helping our GDP? No, actually, it's not at all. So It's still pretty bad. But a lot of growth. We like the growth. And finished growth. Oh, look at that. Yes, please, please, please. Sir, where are you going? You got enemies kill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just don't want to look at our... I don't want to look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so red. Actually, we're doing okay on anti tank. Artillery's so bad. Oh my goodness. So many guns out. So many guns out. If that's the case, I'm going to send you, uh, no mountaineers. You guys come here. It'll be fine. There you go. You guys sit down there. The rest of the army can deal with this. And you guys can deal with this here too. That's fine. Not super worried about it. How many more divisions do they have left? Less than 100. Stockpile. We got some good stuff. No only manpower left. We still only have half of their industrial capacity, which does suck, but whatever. And we do have two spies in here too, so. Once Ukraine's gone, it's pretty much open. Open for a yum yum time. How are we doing down here? They're okay? Trying to push in at all? All strong of the Iranians. Oh, Pahlavi. Half a million manpower. Not bad. 46 divisions. Not ideal. They're only militia. Alright. I can get on board with that. Uh, once we get Kiev, should be at the end of them. Should be. Keep dropping them, keep dropping them. Good. 2.67 million? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Come on, take care of it if you can. That's all we need. Capitulate him. There we go. There we go. And... We got it. We're not exactly winning as much as we used to, but now we are. Good job, guys. Oh, I cut him off even more. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Yum, yum. 80 divisions left. We have a bigger military than they do. And many of their divisions are encircled and trapped. Good. Very good. I think we can really do there. Complete, complete German surrender. We need Riga. We should try getting earlier. And it's a frontline city too, so. 
Also, we did get the nuclear program going, I think, right? I uh, can't really see it down there, but whatever. This actually never changed either, which is kind of weird. Steel caravans are very nice to have, though. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we're doing well in Iran as well. Nice. Very nice. Hey, we took Riga. At this point, we could probably demand it. How many more divisions do they have left? A million manpower left. No, we're just trying. It's okay. Quarter million. We've only taken a quarter million casualties. We've cut off two and a half million Germans. So. Or you can't. Oh, Katharina Stadt. That's right. That's right. Get out of here. Keep going, keep going. Iran should fall soon, too. It shouldn't be taking that long. Not too worried about it. Think over the edge. Go straight there. We'll be fine. Go around the long way if you want to. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, the Danes. They just had to get involved, didn't they? 50 divisions left. A total of 99. Guys, why are you taking so long? Let's keep going. Oop. And now, happy July. Look at all that lag. Oh boy. Tehran would be nice, guys. If you'd like to go in there, please. Thank you very much. Good, good, good. Oh. If we could just slice this off, it'd be so nice, but. Maybe not this time. Maybe next. Hildorixhafen, yes. What else do we still need? Catherine Stadt, that's all we need. Yep, that's all we still need. Cut him off here, and then you'll have a great time. Don't let him in, don't let him in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, there we go. Encircled again and destroyed. Beautiful. Oh, they're coming up through there too, that sucks. Uh, guys, can you please just take this stupid state? You're going to do that and force and Fortress Buster your way through. The Romanians are not going to stop us. There you go. That's why I sent them two ways. That brush is looking pretty good. You guys looking pretty okay. Ir Iran has got to fall soon, too. More convoys. Very nice. Oh my god, don't let him take Riga again. Just go straight to Riga. How have you not taken this group yet? My god. It is pretty darn laggy. Look, let me look at how slow it is going. Yep, there goes Romania. Nice. Oh, Bulgaria's in there too. All we care about are the Katharina Stadt. And my god, how have they not died yet? Come on. And there we go. Demand complete German surrender. Uh, we're not getting the peace deal, which does kind of suck. Wait, why don't we get the peace deal? I have installed the second West Russian war mod, so I don't exactly stand, understand why we don't have the peace deal. There's Persia. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we're not getting the peace deal. I think it might be bugged, maybe? Maybe it is bugged. Peace deal 3. We didn't get the other peace deals as well. Um, I mean, we're pretty deep, in, pretty deep into the German Empire now. It's not like they have a ton of divisions left either. I mean, we're making our way close to Germania. Not bad. 23.45 billion. Still goes up, 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 up. I was going to get the peace deal seeing as like, if you don't stop, we're going to nuke you. Ah, good. Looking beautiful, as it should. Guys, what are you doing? Where are you guys at? What, what you doing? So what happens when we take Germania? Anything? No? Are we going to make it all the way to Burgundy, maybe? This is kind of ridiculous, not going to lie. I take that. I don't, I don't care anymore. We go to Slovak Republic. Veen? Are we going to get the deal at all? To say, hey, how about y'all stop attacking us? 
because we were fighting the French as well. Because Einheit Spack is looking pretty... Oh, the offense looking okay. Oh, I forgot that you, Great Britain was in there too. Praha? I don't understand this, so I don't think we're going to get actually the whole deal, which does kind of suck. I mean, don't they have to be like 80% or closer? I mean, we're at 80% already, so... Uh, I'm going to say we won. So, hey guys, if you enjoyed the campaign, even through my frustration, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.